Yasmin Alibhai Brown, the woman who told Meghan Markle not to marry Prince Harry, because the Windsors are a cold, dysfunctional family, said something very, very important about Camilla, about her image that she is trying to project. Because we are focused so much on Jeremy Clarkson that people forget that he said those vile comments right after having a party with Jeremy Clarkson and Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan proceeded to abuse Meghan right after a party with Camilla the Queen Consort. So we haven't focused much on the mistress turned Queen Consort, Camilla. My family, Yasmin Alibhai Brown said this. The Camilla's revamped image as a champion of women is starting to crack. If the Queen Consort was serious about supporting women, she would have backed Meghan's right to speak out. But my family, you know, I believe members of the royal family are not genuine in their support for churches or even you know this fight against violence towards women and the reason tablets are okay with doing PR for them is because they know they are not being genuine they know the members of the royal family are only doing it because of PR even Harry said that the rota is, is a PR arm of the royal family. If that's the case, then why did they go after Meghan Markle? Why did they go after Meghan? Why? They did that with the full consent of senior members of the royal family like Prince William himself. Like Camilla. Like Charles. Like Kate Milton. And my family... Yasmin says this, that it's nearly a week since Jeremy Clarkson wrote his column on Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. It was red hot with hate. Around this charging repulsive violent fantasies. He confessed he hated Meghan and wanted her pelted with excrement as she was parade naked through the streets of every town. The Sun published this inconsistent outburst, which it has now removed from its website. By Thursday, the regulator, Ipso, had received more than 20,000 complaints, more than it received in the whole of 2021. Around 60 members of parliament have written to the sun, Eta, Victoria Newton. They are demanding an apology for Clarkson to be probably, probably censured. And for Clarkson to be properly censured, the letter was coordinated by the Conservative Chair of the Women and Equalities Committee, Caroline Knox, and signed by Tory, Labour, Democrat, Liberals, Green, and SNP MPs. They notified Newton that Meghan had previously received credible threats to her life and expressed concern about journalists using words without care or caution and contributed to an unacceptable climate of hatred and violence. Clarkson did an issue a statement in which he said he was horrified to have caused so much hurt. It was a pathetic gesture to cover himself and save his career. He, like Piers Morgan, and other white middle-aged 
right wing male commentators hound Megan and Harry like they would foxes on a hunt they get plenty of dosh for that plus fame and invites to grand events Clarkson and Morgan have both been at an exclusive lunch just hosted by the Queen Consort she has as far as I can tell said nothing to defend Meghan nor have King Charles or the Prince of Wales Morgan bangs on and on about Meghan's disloyalty to her father and half siblings but says nothing about the way the Windsors are failing to protect the couple their own family my family <laughs> I love Yasmin Ali Pai Brown she tells it as it is she tells it as it is they bang on and on about disloyalty yet not a single member of the so-called family the royal family who seem Harry Meghan and loved have ever done anything to condemn abuse towards Meghan Marco the hypocrisy Yalmin says that, says that she wants to focus on Camilla she wants to focus on Camilla the Windsor matriarch her image has been skillfully forged reforged by the palace PR machine they want us to think that she is the perfect wife a staunch defender of women a great liberal who loves the arts and literature an impeccable royal who knows her diamonds and wears her privileges with poise and style feminists and heads of arts and media companies admire Camilla she has just been made colonel of the Grenadier Guards by her husband you can go along with all that if you never look back but I do she and Charles met at a polo match in 1970 they began dating he went off to see and she married another man. In 1983, Charles married Diana. Plucked to produce heirs to the throne. But he and Camilla remained close. The night before the wedding, we understand, Diana realized that she never stood a chance against Camilla. The pair Camilla caused Diana may be disremembered by royalists but not by harry or his wife or us who use basic common sense and have not been brainwashed by the palace pr machine the rotter and tabloids diana was emotionally tormented has the queen concert ever expressed Real sorrow for the part she played in this tragedy? The answer is no, she has not. Then, how can such a woman emote about domestic tyranny and recent speeches on how female testimonies need to be heard? Her advisors know this place well. Is on trend. If Camilla was serious about this show evil, she would have come out and championed Megan's right to speak out about her pain and confusion as a young wife trying to fit into the royal family. And she did everything. Megan did everything to fit in, but none of it was good enough. She was condemned because of being mixed race and deemed unworthy of being a member of the royal family that is what happened and my family yasmin continue by saying this that that harry is still that hot and angry little boy 
who was made to walk behind his mom's house without crying as Harry was told do not cry don't cry this tape mother could have redeemed herself by taking care of him and his wife for the pain that he caused to Harry's late mother but what we see is Camilla again as cold as an iceberg just as she was with Diana who once called her a Rottweller and I quote a Rottweller this Claxon Furo has revealed that Camilla knows the queen for what she is Camilla is not a good person Camilla is not a good person Yasmin Alibhai Brown my family first of all thank you Yasmin Camilla is a fraud she is not a champion of women she is not a campaigner against domestic violence against women when she's the one basically behind the pain caused to her his late mother the late diana camilla had a chance to redeem herself she did not take that chance instead she chose to continue being who she truly is a bad human being camilla was cited by the press as mocking Megan for what? For curling her baby bump. That is how she was cited, my family. And it has been happening for many years. She tormented Diana, and now she is tormenting her son and her son's wife. It's clear, my family, what Yasmin Alipai Brown said a couple of years back on why Meghan should not marry Prince Harry. Because the Windsors are a cold, dysfunctional family. And now words, you know, I thought at the time that she's just jealous because I didn't know who she was at the time. But it turns out from John Oliver to Alipai Brown, Yasmin, everyone knew who the Windsors truly were. They are not good people. They are not good people. They are racist. Very, very bad, bad people. That's just, you know, who members of the royal family are, in my opinion. Majority of them, not all of them. But majority of them more so the senior members of the royal family they say the back stops with the leaders that's william charles camilla and kimilton well there they are always setting a bad example time and time again showing the world of their cruelty of how cruel they are towards megan towards harry and they keep showing it time and time again. My family also, there's a clip that I managed to get of From 20 posted by members of the squad. They discussed the fake statement from Prince Harry and William in which William put, it, put Harry's name on a statement without Harry's approval to say that he isn't a bully. In one moment, they were willing to lie to protect Prince William rather than tell the truth to protect Harry and Meghan. And my family, here is the video clip. Kindly look at this, please. My family, on what had happened. We um, 
draw your attention to this. Prince William and Prince Harry have said an offensive and potentially harmful newspaper report published about their relationship today. This is in the Times Today is false. Um, this is a report citing an unnamed source which claimed Harry and Meghan had been pushed away by the bullying attitude of William. The report added the Duke of Cambridge had not been welcoming to Meghan. What do you make of the... The report said Duke of Cambridge had not been welcoming towards Meghan. The report that was back in 2020 this clip is from 2020 back then when Harry said that this show knows the truth tabloids also they know the truth but all of them are conspiring together in this war by the palace against Meghan Markle all she ever does did all she ever did was simply just fall in love that's all she ever ever did just fall in love while being a mixed race black woman that's all megan ever did she did not deserve what she's had to endure all of this time megan did not deserve this my family continue hearing this please attitude of William, the report added the Duke of Cambridge had not been welcoming to Meghan. What do you make of the spokesperson for both the princes releasing that? Does it tie into what Steve was saying that perhaps sometimes the press go too far in trying to sell newspapers on the wall? I think they're trying to close the stable door after the horse has bolted, has it, aren't they? I mean, uh, I would be very surprised if the Times didn't have excellent sources. And in fact, uh, we have a lot of good information. I mean, you can remember dating way back to when the Sunday Times years ago published Diana, her true story by Andrew Morton, and it was all derided as absolute nonsense and fiction. And then what, it all turned out that Princess Diana had herself been cooperating with Andrew Morton, and it was all true. All right. So, um, you know, let's just, there's PR going on here. There's PR going on here, with a smile. They knew. They knew what was happening. They knew that William was bullying Harry and Meghan. They knew. They knew. And when that statement was released, even you can see they knew. They knew it's PR. They knew that is what is happening. Once again, they are protecting the heir to the throne. At the same time, never ever lifting a finger to protect Harry and Meghan. They knew clearly. They knew. Just as Harry said in the documentary, they are in on it together with the palace and the press. They are in on it together in the bullying of Harry and Meghan Markle. My family, he was eyes and ears. Let him see and ear. Let him or her see or hear what is right in front of you. And even that reaction from, you know, Meghan Markle in the Harry and Meghan documentary and Mandana Diani, it's your brother, it's your brother. Them telling Harry, it's your brother, but it's, your, it's his brother. It's William, it's William. He's the one that authorized just enough to issue a statement against Harry and Meghan. It's William, it's your brother, it's your brother, it's your brother. And the tabloid media were calling him Harry and Meghan, former AD. That's also a problem. Harry and Meghan, former AD. Instead of Prince William's employee. Prince William's employee. No one asked a question. Why does Prince William authorize, you know, his employee to issue a statement to a sister tablet in court against his sister-in-law, against Harry, against his sister-in-law Megan. Why? And they're telling you once again, the problem is William. William has not been welcoming towards Megan. William. I even remember that article a couple of years back from William to the tabloids. You know, that I have put my hands on my brother all of this time, all these years. I can't do that anymore. Tabloids 
proceeded to blame Meghan Markle for it. And they trashed her, bullied her, insulted Meghan Markle. Why? Because Harry fell in love. How dare he fall, fall in love? How dare he? How could he fall in love and want to seek his own family? Want to get a family of his own, get his own kids, a kids of his own. You have the media, tabloids, Piers Morgan saying that, you know, Harry should come back to the UK, marry a dim, white, conservative blonde, chosen for him by his brother William. Every one of them is telling you who it is. The person behind the hate campaign against Harry and Meghan, especially towards Meghan Markle because Meghan is the target. They're telling you, it's William. They're screaming to you, it's William. It's him. It's him. Time and time again. But yet, someone can come to me and say that, oh look, Harry betrayed William. Apparently, someone can betray you by telling the truth about you. The truth about you. That you, William, are a bully. You know, I remember when Kate and William had their first child, George. Harry said that he was very, very happy for them. Very happy for them. And even asked the press to let them have their time as a family. How kind Harry was towards K. Milton, William's wife. He treated her with respect and dignity. When time came for them to be as kind as Harry was towards K. Milton, towards William's wife, Meghan did not get that kind of respect. Instead, what she got is what they are telling you, my family. William, unwelcoming towards Megan. They are telling you that it's your brother. It's him. It's him. It's him. It's him. It's him. You know, William misses a scapegoat so, so much because all of Harry's life, he has always been the scapegoat to cover up for, for William. All his life, when Harry fell in love and then became more famous than, you know, William. When crowds were lining up in the Oceania tour to look at Harry and Meghan, they became so jealous. William was being told by courtiers at the palace, calm down, William, calm down, William, calm down. Your brother's priority will go down, but yours, yours, William, will go up. Don't worry, William. Calm down. Jealousy. I can imagine the anger he must have felt as seeing Harry and Meghan loved globally. I can imagine the anger and jealousy he saw when he saw crowds lining up to see Harry and Meghan. I can imagine the hatred that brewed deep inside of William when he saw how happy Harry was. When he did not marry for love. Because William did not marry for love. As Harry said that royals don't marry for love. And what he said was true. You marry someone who fits into the mold rather than, you know, a woman you love. That's what happens, you know, in the royal family, in the royal household. And my family, I feel upset because of how Harry was so, so kind to Kate Milton, William's wife, even asking the press to back off and let them have the time as a family when Kate gave birth to George. It's a shame that Megan was made to cry by Kate Milton. While Megan was busy planning her wedding, Kate Milton made Megan cry. Then lied about it to the press. After all the kindness that Harry showed them. You know, my family, it's true what Yasmin said really about the royal family. They truly are a cold, dysfunctional family. Just as Yasmin Alipai Brown said a couple of years 
ago before Harry and Meghan got married telling Meghan not to marry Harry John Oliver said that royal family will cause Meghan some emotional complications it happened just as he said it would just as he said it would but some still want to defend the royal family some still want to defend Camilla or Kate or William or Charles they are not good people they are not good and there is a record of them not being good people because they keep showing it in their actions in their deeds that they are not good and they've been targeting Meghan and Harry for a long long time long long time and it has got to stop my family it has got to stop the press knew William bullied them they knew they knew the leaks were coming from Kensington Palace the insulting comments about Meghan Markle the abusive comments about Meghan Markle and then they accused Meghan calling her a bully yet they were the ones who have been bullying Meghan for a long long time you can't make it up you can't make it up my family you just can't make it up members of the farm are guilty of causing so much pain to Harry and Meghan you know what I hope that Harry and Meghan keep the coronation I really really hope that they keep it you will see the tantrums being thrown by the tabloid media who are so desperate for Harry and Meghan to appear to abuse them because make no mistake tabloids want Harry and Meghan to show up believe me they do and they want them there to do what they've been doing to them abuse them just as they did during the Queen's funeral that is what they want to continue doing the Queen's funeral was turned into a bash fest you know trashing Harry and Meghan that is how and what happened in the Queen's funeral it turns to you know insulting Harry and Meghan by the UK tabloid press my family Megan did not deserve this. Megan did not deserve what had happened. No one deserves this. No one should ever have to go through what Megan has had to go through all of this time. Nobody. And I'm sorry to Megan Marco for the pain that she has had to experience and endure at the hands of the UK tabloid media. No one should go through what Megan has had to go through. My family, nobody. No one. Are the hands of William? Are the hands of William? No one. William truly took after Charles. Truly, he took after him. Meghan has been the target all of this time, just as Meghan said in the Harry and Meghan documentary. But one day, you no, know, they will answer for the pain that they have caused to Meghan Markle. Even someone said that UK Press knew and they know what's going on and they know what they're doing. They know who's at fault here. It's always been William, always. And their jealousy, always, always, always. And Diana knew also of jealousy within the royal family. William also has it. My family. It's so painful what has gone on all of this time. William is clearly the bully and the liar in this story. And we've seen the pain that he has caused to Meghan and Harry. My family, we have seen the pain that he has caused to Meghan and Harry. Especially towards Meghan Markle. If someone did what William did to Harry, would you speak to that person? Would you ever talk to that person? The answer is no. The answer is no. And that's why even when Harry and Meghan did the walkabout, the Windsor walkabout with Kate and William, when the Queen passed away, I said in this channel that Meghan loves Harry.
Megan loves Harry. Megan loves Harry. I said it in this channel. Megan loves Harry. Because for her to go through everything she's gone through and still stick by her side, my family, everything she has gone through will make any person in the world want to run for the hills. But oh, Megan. Megan has stood by the side of the person that she loves, Harry. Showing him respect and love. That is what Megan has done. Because that is who she is. Megan is a good person with a good heart. Full of love, deep inside of her. That's Megan. And may God bless Megan's heart. May God bless Megan's heart so, so much. She's a good person, a good human being. And may God bless her. Her heart. She is good. And may she always continue to be good. And even when you're, good, when you're a good person, it's important to know boundaries and set boundaries. And that's what Harry and Megan have set. Boundaries for themselves, to keep themselves safe from people who seek to harm them, like William. Because William does seek to harm Harry's wife, Megan. To harm Harry himself by harming Harry's family, Harry's loved ones. I can't think of a worse level of hate than what William has towards Harry to target his loved ones, to target his wife and kids. I can't think of a worse way, you know, an even worse way more than that. I can't. And even in the Harry and Meghan documentary, did you see them ever even talking about, you know, like K. Milton? Because the media said that in the trailer, they cast a bad picture of Kim Milton. But in the Harry and Meghan documentary, it was William. Why? Because even Kim Milton did not have the power to go after Harry and Meghan in the manner that William had. It's always been William. Camilla does not have the power to go after Harry and Meghan. What she has is can, she can talk to the tabloid media, Piers Morgan, thank them for attacking Meghan Markle. That's what she can do. And say that she has the support of the royal family because she's the queen consort. That is what she can do. But can she orchestrate a smear campaign that's gone on for six years? The answer is no. Camilla can't do that. Camilla can't do that. The person who can do that is William and Charles and that's why it's only ever been them but mostly clearly coming from William my family please tell me what you think kindly I want to your opinion please I want to hear your opinion please about all of this kindly and the clip that I just showed you from 2020 the media knew again confirming what Harry said the institution knows, tablets they also know, because they have been in on it. Harry said that, and his words once again confirmed. My family, hate won't win, and William, your hate won't win. The world sees who you are. Camilla, the world sees who you are. All they ever look for is PR, 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 PR. They are not genuine in their causes. Only Heidi and Megan are genuine and we love them. My family, I wish you all a Merry Christmas and I'm hoping that despite everything that has happened and keeps going on, I'm hoping that Harry and Megan have a Merry Christmas and all of you also have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Stay tuned to our next video family. Love you always and forever and God bless each and every single one of you and stay tuned to our next video. Hello members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. 
I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great great day and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video, leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.